well, I work for free. I mean, everything I post on my social media, when it says I have no followers, I have a GoFundMe, that means I don't have a sponsor. I'm looking for sponsors. Sure, sure, sure. Sponsors to do exactly what? Just to be a videographer, just to be a creator, just sponsor you too. No, to to have their content, to have their logos and their bit their business mentioned on the stuff that I post. Just like when you turn on television or or a ball game and you see all the commercials that are on there, people pay money to have their commercial on that game or that story. Okay. So what you've got to do is figure out a metric to identify their return on investment. It's impossible. It's impossible what I do because some, I, I told you, I get 25,000 daily impressions. Some, some of the stuff will get more than others because I put, because I put my content on three different, on three different platforms and it varies. Sometimes some of those stories will get more hits than others, but it's on the average I get, I mean, I've, I've, I thought I, I mean, I can, I don't know if I can share my screen, but I can show you exactly the metrics of what I have. ROI is impossible because I can't gar I can't gauge how many people are going to go in and buy a product. Nobody can do that. Not even people in television. Sure, but can you uh, can you measure a click through rate, stuff like that? Like you put a link in your post and you can tell how many people actually clicked it because you're tracking the link. You know, there's things yeah. like that. Yeah, those are metrics that you can that you can actually report. It's, hey, I did this work for you. These are what I put out for you. This is the amount of views it got. This is the amount of clicks it got. Now, whether you close those motherfuckers is a whole nother deal. Basically, what you're doing is, is like kind of like appointment setting. It's like, I'm showing it to them. I'm getting their eyes out there. You're seeing that they're, they're seeing it, right? And then it's like, is it compelling enough for them to click? Well, apparently it was. And this many people actually clicked your link. Now, what percentage actually bought? That's on you, man. You got to have to, maybe your website sucks. Maybe your video sucks. Maybe your product sucks. Maybe your pricing sucks. I don't know. Uh, but what we can say is we delivered this kind of result. Does that make sense? 